It is the inaugural town hall meeting organized by Center for Democracy and Development in partnership with OCWA and DFID, tagged the Buari Meter Meeting. The session was convened to access the performance of the Buari administration based on the ruling party's campaign promises. The meeting asked five ministers in attendance to showcase the successes they have made in line with APC's pledges. First to speak was the information minister and government spokesman, Lai Mohamed. He insists that the federal government has not failed in its campaign promises in relation to the three key areas of fight against corruption, war against insecurity, and economic revival. To what extent has the administration fulfilled its electoral promises one year on? Our answer is equally simple. We are indeed on track. The most daunting security challenge faced by the country when we assumed office on May 29, 2015, was undoubtedly the Boko Haram insurgency. Today, it is fast receding. For the Minister of Budget and National Planning and his agriculture and rural development counterpart, fighting corruption is not enough. They say the government is working hard at ensuring economic diversification. Of having a zero tolerance for corruption, we have actually slowed the growth, the, slowed the decline of the economy by that action. And sometimes people don't appreciate the full consequence and impact of that action. But that isn't sufficient. Even if we stop all corruption in Nigeria, we will not solve our economic problems. And agriculture doesn't happen overnight. It takes some planning. We began the planning, we are beginning to get results. Don't forget to invest in those items which you must export to earn foreign exchange for your country, as we did in the 60s and early 70s. The other ministers, however, chose to speak on the level of corruption the administration found in the system. They cited the examples of non-payment of contractors for three years in spite of budgetary allocation. Our contractors will go back on Monday next week, they told me, on the Lagos Ibadan Express. They haven't been paid. But that is what change means, that this government is credible and believable. If we say we will pay, we will pay. Out of about 26 power plants, 23 are fired by gas. A dispute created from the last administration Parties have been in court for three years. We brought them out of court. They settled. They're trying to pay the settlement fees now. It's of course the whole thing that we have discussed corruption. But there are root causes to that. And how can the environment provide the opportunity to address those root causes of poverty, of inequality, um, and making sure that we have jobs for people? Um, it also means strengthening our institutions. So, very quickly, what we have said is that we want to give up empowering people, taking climate action protecting the environment. How do we do that? Some of the work that we've been doing recently is strengthening the regulatory environment and policies that's important that we plan on, that we have a framework that we can coordinate and collaborate and be coherent with if we're to do this uh, together with the, with the minimum amount of resources that we've got. And aware of the public glamour for results, the cabinet members argue that what the country needs is sustainable results, not quick fixes. They maintain that the Buhari administration will not relent in making the country better, but it requires time. Abayo Meakimbola, PTV News, Abuja.